On the morning of June 30th, 1908, the sky lit up with fire. An explosion 1,000 times larger than Hiroshima took place in the sky above the Tunguska River in northern Siberia. A shockwave was sent across Asia and Europe, with windows shattering hundreds of miles away. Millions of trees were felled, stripped of their bark, and burnt to a crisp. This would become known as the Tunguska Incident. But what happened? Witnesses to the incident and its aftermath found roughly 830 square miles of forest completely destroyed and burnt. One account noted, the sky split in two and fire appeared high and wide over the forest. The split in the sky grew larger and the entire northern side was covered with fire. At that moment, I became so hot that I couldn't bear it as if my shirt was on fire. It was one of the largest explosions in recorded history, larger than nuclear explosions of today. But the nuclear bomb wouldn't be invented for another 37 years. While eyewitness accounts are heavily lacking to the actual event, largely due to the remoteness of the region it took place in, scientists who studied the aftermath theorized that this was a massive airburst of an asteroid roughly 200 feet in diameter. Based on the large swaths of destruction, it's estimated that the asteroid was traveling at 60,000 miles per hour over the surface of the Earth. Traveling at such a high rate of speed meant that when the asteroid of this size hit the denser lower atmosphere, it exploded into billions of tiny pieces, all burning up at roughly 45,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This theory is the only one that properly explains the destruction found as a result of the Tunguska event. But the story gets even more worrying. Researchers studying the object in its subsequent destruction estimate that an event of this size and scale could take place roughly every 200 to 300 years, meaning that the odds of another Tunguska event, which could completely destroy any modern day city, is likely within our lifetimes. 